to receive God's blessings, to receive God's miracles, and at the same time to say thank you. For what? So let us analyze a moment the concept of thank you. Now, hopefully, as polite people, we say thank you for every gift that we receive, for every nice gesture that somebody does with us. When we get our salary paid on time, especially, we say thank you. A smile from a person, a person sharing a nice thought, a Dvar Torah, whatever it is. Thank you should be a staple in our language, in our relationship with the other, not to take anything for granted. Now imagine if somebody will say thank you by composing a song, a nice lengthy song in expression of gratitude. Now this should be very meaningful. Yet when we look at the parish of today, in today's Torah portion, where we have the famous Az Yoshe Moshe Bnei Yisrael as Hashira Hazois. Moshe Rabbeinu sang with the Jewish people after the splitting of the sea, after having been completely freed from Egyptian bondage and Egyptian danger, by the fact that God opened the sea and that very same miracle which saved the Jewish people have brought down the Egyptians and definitely down, down in the ocean, became their not graveyard but grave ocean. Then Moshe Rabbeinu gathered all the people and all of them together sang the famous Az Yosha, which became part of our daily prayers. Not only is it a part of daily prayers, but it's also reflecting and telling us the sheer, the song that we should, will sing in the future. Yet, the matter tells us that God was not so pleased. Why? explains Rabbi Shai Yehovitz, a famous Kabbalist, author of the classic book, the Shalom HaKadosh. says, God complained to the Jewish people. Indeed, you sang, but you didn't do it like the women. I much preferred the short version that the women's thank you the women's praise and expressing their gratitude to me, to Hashem, rather than the way you did it. What was the difference? First of all, it says that the women, Miriam, encouraged the women to follow, and they all followed, and they said a short two-liner. Thank you, God, for the miracle. But they did it with great enthusiasm. They sang and they danced. And they had the tambourines. Those tambourines was the symbol of powerful faith. Because when Moshe Rabbeinu came to Egypt, while they were still in the depth of the slavery, the depth of the bondage, Moshe Rabbeinu came and notified them, Kinalach, my dear brothers, time of redemption has arrived. God that sent me on a mission to take you out of Egypt. Everybody was excited. But the women were not just excited. They started preparing for it. And the first thing they did, apparently, they prepared tambourines. Why? So when the moment will be finalized, they should be ready to express God to God their appreciation with the deepest, with the deepest and the strongest enthusiasm, including dancing with the tambourines. Even when the Jewish people were at a moment of doubt, as we spoke yesterday, when they saw the Sea of Reeds in front of them, and they saw the Egyptians behind them, they panicked, and all expressed their desperation in different ways as we spoke yesterday, the four opinions. The women they held on to those tambourines. They didn't throw away the tambourines. They kept their faith. They kept their total assurance. God said, he's taking us out of Egypt. We are going out. How it's going to happen? That's his issue. That's God's issue. We had no idea how it's going to make the ten plagues. 
So we don't know how he's going to get us out of this predicament. But he will. Says God. This is the kind of shira, the kind of thank you, the kind of faithful song and appreciation I'd expected from you. Concludes Rabbi Shai Yehovitz and says the following. In the future, he's talking about the present, when we were told by the Rebbe that we are living the last moments of exile and we are seeing already the sparks, we are seeing already the rays of the Geula, we should start thanking God now, although it hasn't fully materialized yet. Because by saying thank you, we show our total faith. So my friends, let us say thank you to God for all the miracles that we have received till now and for the imminent redemption that is going to happen today. Of rather now.